everyone. I'm Ui Mei Ling from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Today, I would like to talk about making the difference with you. When I was a kid, I liked to cry a lot. I didn't know why, but I could cry for almost anything at any time or anywhere. My family and friends used to call me Hampau in Cantonese, which means a crying bun. If you are curious why call Hampau, Mm, I guess it's because my face crumple when I cry. It looks just like the creases on a bun. When I was a kid, I used to play with my sisters and my cousin's sisters. They were forced to let me do whatever I like or whatever I wish because adults would scold them thinking they bullied me if I cry. Slowly, the girls didn't want to play with me anymore. So I joined my cousin brothers and the boys in the neighborhood. I follow the boys in the neighborhood, going places around the neighborhood, doing naughty things like climbing the trees like a monkey, catching the spider and grasshopper in the bushes and playing hide and seek at the graveyards and so on and so forth. Those activities were more interesting and dangerous compared to playing cooking or dressing the doors at home with the girls. But when I was with the boys, I never cried once. Even when I fell from the trees, I scratched my skin in the bushes or lost in the graveyard. Because I know once I cry, the boys will not play with me anymore, just like the girls. I have learned to endure my fear, my pain, and swallow my tears. I realize crying will not make me have any friends. So I made a choice to stop crying. When I stopped crying playing with friends, the girls came back to play with me once more. Now I have more friends to play with. Dear friends and families, what I would like to say is, as a kid, I already knew what I needed to do to make the difference or to change the situation. It is a natural behavior or characteristic as a human being to make choices, prioritizing our best interests that we call humanity. We make different choices in life every day, regardless of our age. The decision or the choices, of course, could be good one, right one, or the bad one, wrong one. But when we are at the crossroads, we have to make choices. What would you choose? Are you willing to learn from your experience, endure the fear, the pain, and sometimes making sacrifices to make the difference? The choices are in your hand. Make your choice wisely. Thank you. Back to you, Cyril.